Amen. Praise the Lord. Today the Lord has laid something in my heart to share with you. Hallelujah. The Lord has laid something in my heart. It's just like to remind you. The Lord is saying to you today, I have seen your situation. I have heard your cries. Just as he said to the children of Israel in Exodus, Exodus chapter 3, the Lord said, And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt, and I have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. And I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians. And to bring them up out of that land unto a good land and a, and, and a large. Unto a land flowing with milk and honey. Unto the place of the Canaanites and the, the Hittites and the Amorites and the Perizzites and the Havites and the Jebusites. Now therefore behold the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me. And I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptian oppressed them. The Lord is saying to you today, He says, I should tell you today, I have heard your cry. I have seen your situation. I have seen what you're going through. But above all that, He said to say to you that I am with you in that circumstance that you find yourself. I am with you. I have never left you and I have never forsaken you. Are you a child of God? God is saying to you, I am with you. I have not only heard, I have not only heard your cry. I have not only seen your condition, the pain you are going through, the suffering you are enduring. He's saying to you, I am with you in that situation. I know about it. Are you a child of God? God is with you. God is in that situation, in that circumstance that is tormenting you. He is there with you. Have you not given your life to Christ yet? You can call upon him right now. And say, Father, come into my heart. Lord Jesus, come into my heart today. I want to be a child of God. I want you to come into my situation. I want you to come and deliver me from my situation. You see, whatever God does, He does for His children. Whenever God speaks, He speaks to His children. God does not waste His word to those who won't listen to Him. If you have not given your life to Christ and you are going through situations now that are tormenting you, you will need to give your life to Christ because Jesus is the answer. He said, I come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. He has come to give you abundant life, to give you relief from your torment, to give you, to lighten your burdens, to take away your pains, to refresh your soul with blessings. He says, I come. Listen to what he's telling you. In Deuteronomy chapter 31, Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6, if you have your Bible, go with me. Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6. God is saying to you, a promise he made there, that promise is still for you today. A powerful promise he made in Deuteronomy chapter 36, 31, verse 6. Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6. The one who made the promise is the one who never fails. He is the one who, when, whenever he speaks, the word goes out of his mouth. It must be fulfilled. He does not speak what will not come to pass. And that same one who speaks it, and it is done the way he speaks it, has made a promise to you. And he says in that promise, Be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. He says, fear not, be strong. My son, be strong. My daughter, be strong. Fear not, 
Have good courage. God knows what you're going through. And he's speaking to you in that situation. He said, be strong. Why? Because I'm with you. I will never leave you. And I will never forsake you. In that situation where you find yourself right now, I am with you. God is with you in that situation. Are you suffering? God is with you. Are you, are you jobless right now? God knows. He is standing with you right where you are right now. Are you sick in your body? He says, I know where you are hurting. I know where the shoe is pinching you. I know where you are aching right now. I feel that pain with you. I am in need with you. That is what the Lord is saying. And in Hebrews, in Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5, he restated, he restated this promise in a different way. He said, let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as you have. For he had said, for God has said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. God is telling you, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And I'm here today to pass that message to you that God is saying to you, I will never leave you nor forsake you. God that is faithful, the faithful God is with you. The one that never abandons his own is with you. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. God has promised that he will never leave you. In whatever condition you are, he will not abandon you. He is not a God that abdicates his responsibilities. He is a God, a good God. And that God is Christ Jesus in your circumstance. Who said, I have come that you might have life. And have it more abundantly. The Lord is with you brethren. Yes you may be going through fire right now. Guess what he said. He said I will go through that fire with you. My God is a personal God. He is a God that is personal to you. Who feels your pain. Who sees your situation. Who gets involved in your affairs. If you will let him. Will you let him today? Can you say to him. Lord Jesus. Come into my own affair. Come into this place. Come. I need you. Can you humble yourself. And say Lord. I need you. Have mercy on me. I am a sinner. And I have sinned. Some of these things I find myself in, I have brought unto myself because of my own wrongdoing. Some of these things have come to me because of my ancestral, my parents' wrongdoing. Some of the things I'm going through have come to me because of where I live today. I don't know how to get myself out of this mess. I am hot and Lord, come into my circumstance, come and help me. I can feel your heart, even as I speak right now. I can feel your heart. I want to agree with you. I want to agree with you concerning what God has for you. Remember the Lord said, I am with you. I have not forsaken you. The Bible is full of examples of people in serious problems who allowed God, who stood for God, who never denied God in their situations, and God came into their situations and delivered them. Will you acknowledge God in your situation today? Can you acknowledge Him? Oh, hallelujah. Let us look at uh, 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 Daniel, the book of Daniel chapter 3. The book of Daniel chapter 3. We saw the story here of the three Hebrew boys who were captured and uprooted out of their own home by a foreign king, the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar. These were princes, these were nobility. They were taken into slavery. Can you imagine? Princes who rule were taken and abducted possibly out of their own land and transformed into slaves in a strange land. In all that, they weren't angry with God. They remained faithful to God. And when they were asked to worship a strange God, they refused. 
They stood in their integrity as children of God. They respected and feared God. And they were ready to take anything the, the, the foreign king who captured them, the book of Nezo had to give to them. They had their faith in God. I said, even if you kill us, we're not going to answer you concerning this matter. You can do whatever you want to us and against us, but we're not going to deny our God. Today I'm calling you that the God that said, I will be with you, I will never forsake you, is still with you, and he can never forsake you. Can you stand for him? Can you be strong for him? In Daniel chapter 3, Verses 23 and 25. Daniel 3, 23 and 25. The Bible says, And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, bound into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished, or astonished, or surprised, and rose up in haste, and spake, and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men, bound into the midst of the fire they answered and said unto the king true o king he answered and said no i see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire and they have no heart and the form of the fault is like the son of god hallelujah shadrach meshach and abednego we are bound and thrown into the fire to be destroyed to be killed because they refuse to worship a strange god because of their loyalty and faithfulness to God, he went with them into that fire. The Lord is telling you right now, whatever you are going through right now, he has gone into that fire that is burning you right now. He has gone into that suffering with you, into that lack with you. Into that suffering. He is there. Into that pain. That sickness. God is with you. You are not alone. Nebuchadnezzar, the strange king, the hidden king, the pagan king, who once tried to destroy these people who refused to worship his strange God, threw them into fire, threw three people into fire, and saw in the fire four men. God, the son, was the fourth person, just as he is with you today. Amen? Look at the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2. Just to tell you that God is with you. Isaiah chapter 43 verse, verse 2 says. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2. Here says. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers... They shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame rekindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Sheba for thee. Hallelujah. The Lord is saying to you today, I am with you. Can you be with the Lord? I want you to look at your situation today. Even that situation that you think, that is contrary to you. That is indeed hurtful to you. The Lord is telling you. Look into that situation. I am encouraging you today. That God is in that situation with you. Christ is in that situation with you. If you can find the Christ in that situation today. You will have answer to your problems. God has allowed this situation to come. And he has come into that situation with you. So that by you. Be restless, we find the solution to that situation and discover the talent God has given to you and discover the greatness God has put in you. In the book of Judges, chapter 6, the children of Israel were in captivity. And Gideon, God said Gideon was a great man of God, a man of valor. But Gideon didn't know that. It took God intervention in that terrible situation for Gideon to discover who, who he was. A great man. You are a great man. You are a great woman. God has gifted you and given you awesome powers and talents. By which you will master your situations. And master the sur your surroundings. God is calling you to rise up today. Discover the Christ in your circumstance. And rise up and shine. And be the champion God has called you. God is calling you today.